arsenals. But if you simply lock onto a single target and then fire everything you have at this target, let's say it won't be very effective, especially if you're playing on a destroyer. It pays to designate different targets to your weapon systems. As we said in the last guide, you can do that by pressing X1, X2, etc. There is an aircraft flying by? Make it a priority target for your AA guns. A PT boat suddenly appeared from behind an island? Let your crew pepper it from auxiliary armaments. You'll be left responsible for main guns, to snipe out distant targets, or to deal with that pesky PT boat as well. Remember that main guns, auxiliary guns and AA come in all shapes and sizes. Each class of armaments have their own effective range. For example, most AA guns are only effective at distances up to 1 and 2 kilometers. Secondary guns usually have bigger ranges. And main guns can often fire at targets 15 kilometers away. Just remember, there are ships that have smaller caliber guns as their main armament and bigger weapons as their auxiliary. That happens. Try to designate priority targets in such a way that every weapon at your disposal works within its effective range. When changing targets, remember that guns take time to steer to a new target. Furthermore, shots made at the ship profile probably will not connect. In naval battles, everyone is always on the move. Learn how to lead your shots. That's where tracking mechanics come in handy. The camera will automatically follow the chosen ship. These numbers are your rangefinder. It automatically adjusts for distance. Refresh it often with the help of your middle mouse button. You can also set the range automatically using the mouse wheel. In Arcade, the rangefinder works automatically. You're only expected to adjust for the horizontal lead. To make it easier for yourself, first make a few sighting shots to get used to the ballistics of this particular gun. Study your enemies. Get used to particular shells against particular targets. If an AP shell didn't connect with a module, it can go through a ship. Moreover, HE shells with tail fuses might not explode within a target if the side of the ship being hit is too thin. At the same time, if your shell with a delay fuse went through a ship without exploding, you still deal some kinetic damage. There will still be a breach. Try to land your shots at important modules. Cripple enemy weapon systems. Destroy its engine or ammo racks. By the way, if you're getting ammo racked on a PT boat, it'll destroy your ship, both if the hit results in a fire or an explosion. When fighting on a bigger ship like a destroyer or a cruiser, only the explosion of an ammo rack is fatal. The fire will just destroy all ammunition in the given ammo rack. Granted, it's still a pain in the arse, but it won't sink the ship. Learn how to utilize secondary armaments like rockets, bombs, mines, depth charges and torpedoes. Rockets are a great way to quickly down an enemy vessel, especially if your main weapon system are destroyed or crippled. Bomb throwers and depth charges are for the cases where you want, or have to, be close and personal. Don't forget that you can set a delay on your bombs. Bomb throwers and fixed rockets work only on a certain angle. If you want to fire from the side, turn your camera to that side and press R. If a bomb thrower is positioned at the front or astern, move your camera accordingly. Torpedoes are probably your most important tool. A couple of torpedoes can sink any ship in the game. Take into account the speed of your torpedo and the speed of your target. To make it easier, there is a special aiming line. To have higher chances of hitting a target, launch not one but two torpedoes in quick succession. Most targets will try to change course to avoid being hit. When getting ready for a battle, you can set your torpedoes to either have faster speed and shorter range, or lower speed with longer range. Whichever is better depends on your gameplay preferences 
and the type of ship you use. For example, if you're on a nimble PT boat and fight other equally maneuverable small vessels, opt for speed. If you prefer bigger prey, use torpedoes with a longer range. This way, you'll be able to hit your targets from afar, staying in relative safety. While in battle, especially if you're on a destroyer or a cruiser, make a point of constantly changing your course and speed. This way, you'll make it significantly harder for all those vicious torpedo boats to hit you with speculative torpedo fire. Not to mention that you'll be a harder target for the other heavy hitters as well. When playing on a speedy boat, plan your route beforehand. In a heated battle, it's surprisingly easy to go aground. Even if no one's shooting at you, that's not a position you want to find yourself in. If no one tows you out of this misery, within a minute, <laughs> the vessel will be automatically lost. Some careless captains can even find themselves on the enemy spawn. Don't do that. Designate priority targets. Be vigilant. Use all your weapon systems to their full potential. Be smart with your movement, and you're bound to perform extremely well.